A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh And a very good uh, day to everyone who watching this video uh, This is one of the uh, topic that uh, we discuss under the subject uh, pressure, uh, sorry, uh, the subject uh, census uh. Um, So now we move to the next uh, topic which is the pressure measurement So uh, as what we have as the methodology that I have used in the previous lectures, I'm going to explain first. I'm going to explain the concept of measurement, and then we're going to move to the mechanism of the how the sensor works. And then we 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 will discuss on the sensor itself. So for this topic, we have uh, you can see the content for the uh, for the uh, uh, ex uh, for the uh, lecture today, uh, we, uh, which is we have a pressure concept. Uh, pressure measurement. We have three uh, kind, four kind of pressure measurement, and then we looking. We will look at the details on the uh, pressure transducer, where we have a lot of uh, pressure transducer actually. And then uh, last one, we're going to look at the uh, the dead weight tester, which is the calibration methods of a pressure uh, transducer. All right. So, what is actually a pressure? A pressure is actually a if you look at the equations, P equal to F over A, and units is Newton over meter square. Uh, it's actually a, a, a force per unit area that that, uh, that um, applied in direction of perpendicular to the surface. Uh, it must be 90 degree to the surface. Uh, then we can declare it as a pressure to the surface. Uh, but if you look at the equation, we found that it's actually the same as the stress. Uh, uh, stress measurement. So, what is different between pressure and stress? Uh, if we can recall the stress measurement uh, in the subject in the in the topic of uh, strain measurement, I've explained a little bit on the stress. So, what is it different? So, different. I think I leave it to you. Uh, go and search. Uh, what is different between uh, pressure and stress? Although it's the same. Uh, unit so is same, the same unit, but it's actually uh, define. Uh, it have a different definition uh, between uh, between each of it. Uh. All right. So um, in, uh, in in engineering, so we have uh, two kind of uh, two type of pressure, which is a static pressure and dynamic pressure. So for static pressure, basically, if you can see the example is the in the tank, okay, pressure vessel. Basically, it's static. It doesn't move the 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 uh, amount or the signal or the outcome or output doesn't move, doesn't varies with the time. So that is actually static. And then the other one is dynamic pressure. Dynamic means it varies, it change over the time. So basically, in in pipeline, we have uh, usually we have in pipeline uh, different fluid flowing into pipeline. Actually, it have a. Uh, uh, variations of uh, pressure moving in the pipeline okay so basically using uh, basically we use the uh, we monitor the dynamic pressure uh, basically to see uh, whether the pipeline can can hold the stress you know, that the actually looking at the stress level inside the pipeline then we can estimate whether it actually can uh, can be utilized in how long uh, the pipeline can be uh, safely utilized and also we can also can see uh, the uh, at the we have a leak inside the pipeline in uh, static pressure also if we can use pressure measurement to measure the uh, leak yeah, leak uh, the leak also the same uh, as I mentioned just now it also can be used to to see how long that um, the materials or the structure can hold the, that kind of pressure, okay. Uh, basically, static pressure is uh, is constant. Uh, it doesn't move towards time, so basically, it can hold pressure at, uh, at quite long time. But dynamic pressure is different because it induces the stress. Huh? It like uh, fatigue. Yeah? It can it can induce a fatigue failure to the system because uh, the high pressure and low pressure can uh, can 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 occur at very short time. So, so high stress and low stress, 
sometimes a high temperature, low temperature. So this kind of um, physical contact to the pipeline, physical uh, physical uh, impact eh, to the pipeline can cause it to be uh, to have a failure in, in in a short time, shorter than uh, if we give a static pressure to the structure. All right, that's why uh, we have to monitor the static and dynamic. Both of it is very important actually in the measurement. All right, so uh, for the pressure measurement, uh, we have absolute pressure, gauge pressure, and a differential pressure. We're going to look uh, one by one in details. What is absolute pressure? How to calculate absolute pressure? What is it mean by absolute pressure? And also the pressure gauge, uh, sorry, the gauge pressure. And the last one is uh, differential pressure. So um, this is actually the details. What is actually absolute pressure? Uh, absolute, uh, sorry, this the type of uh, measurement, which is the absolute pressure measurement, um, uh, gauge pressure measurement, and differential pressure, me pressure measurement has their own pressure transducer, different pressure transducer type will be used for different type of uh, pressure measurement. Eh? So we have absolute transducers. Actually, for ab absolute transducers, actually uh, it have it closed the close uh, close boundary so it only can uh, measure in that boundary and if we have a sorry in the other one is a gauge pressure it have a cavity open so that there is a uh, atmospheric pressure will involve in the in the measurement okay in the value value will the value also will include the pressure uh, sorry atmospheric pressure and the differential transducers actually it measure the, the difference between two applied uh, pressure and the last one is uh, vacuum transducers actually it is a special form of absolute transducer it's also same with absolute uh, absolute transducer but it's actually uh, for uh, for a very low measurement close to the uh, vacuum condition eh? okay uh, so the we, so we, look, we look at uh, more details on the concept of the pressure as mentioned just now, we have P, a pressure is force per unit area, F of A. Uh, if you're talking about vacuum, vacuum, sorry, uh, for, if you look at the, uh, the, uh, the uh, definition of pressure, force per unit area, the force is come from the interaction of molecules, uh, molecules to the surface, uh, to the boundaries. If you if you refer to the uh, pipeline, if you have pipeline inside there we have a fluid. So the molecule of fluid always interact uh, 90 degrees to the surface of the of the pipe. So the more molecules inside that that pipe will will give more pressure. So that's actually a pressure. But if for the case of pure vacuum, there's no molecules involved. No molecules mean no liquid molecule, no air molecule. There's nothing inside. So we call it absolute zero pressure. All right, so. Uh, so. Absolute pressure is uh, sorry. So if I could, if we refer to the previous slide. Uh, pressure gauge, we have pressure gauge. We have absolute pressure. We have atmospheric, atmospheric pressure. So three things. If, if we can relate between uh, these three pressures is like mentioned in the slide, the P gauge is equal to P absolute minus P, uh, P um, atmospheric, yeah? P naught is actually P or pressure for atmosphere, atmospheric pressure. Okay. All right. So um, this atmospheric pressure, it have it's actually fixed value, uh, depending on the location of of the measurement. The measurement happening. But basically, uh, if you measure in the open air on the open area, basically it's actually uh, equal to one atm absolute. Or uh, if you measure using mercury, it's two hundred and sixty millimeter hg. Means that uh, means that 
the pressure, atmospheric, pre atmospheric pressure can raise the level of mercury up to uh, 760 millimeter. It's, uh, it's quite high. Uh, 760 millimeter, quite close to the uh, close to the uh, one meter. Okay. And then uh, in kilopascal is uh, 101.32 kilopascal or uh, 1.013 bar, 1.013 1 bar. But basically, uh, uh, simplified, if you can simplify, uh, 180M equal to one bar. Uh, could, but just simplified. It must it have, uh, if you look at the slide, it actually have a uh, points, uh, 0 0.13 bar equal to 180M, but basically uh, just just a simple transition but the thing is this all these things actually you can easily uh, go to the google you have apps a lot, a lot of apps uh, built to uh, convert all this value uh, but if you look at the the bottom of this uh, the, of the slide all these things all this uh, measurement for example, if you use uh, mercury as the measurement of the atmospheric, uh, atmospheric pressure, let's say three seven hundred and sixty millimeter, uh, the level raised due to the atmospheric pressure is actually measured during the twenty degree C. Okay, that that uh, specific uh, specified temperature, because we know uh, different temperature will 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 if for the fluid eh, for the fluid, for the uh, solid different for, for the fluid uh if you raise the temperature it actually will increase or decrease it change the state of the the the, the, the fluid maybe the density will change eh? uh, the density will change uh, with the change of the uh temperature so when the density change it also change the pressure measurement maybe uh, it will go uh uh, uh, decrease the values a little bit or increase depend on the pressure okay so that's why uh, during your pressure measurement it's very important for us to to look at the temperature as well if you you are looking for the very precise measurement uh. all right so um so i have a lot of example in the slide uh, for conversion like i said there's a lot of uh, apps special apps uh, if you go uh, Google, you can find easily online conversion for the pressure, not only for the pressure, but also for the other uh, uh, physic physical parameters. Uh, we know that pressure, uh, absolute pressure is actually um, force per unit area. Uh, it is actually a absolute pressure for the force uh, for the for the pressure inside. Uh, any area that have fluid. Eh? Meanwhile, the gauge pressure is actually a difference between absolute pressure and the local atmospheric pressure uh, from the equation that we have, uh, I have shown in the previous slide. Actually, uh, gauge pressure is actually a difference between uh, absolute pressure and the atmospheric pressure. Uh, meanwhile, the vacuum, is actually where the uh, the condition is where atmospheric pressure is more than the absolute pressure, okay? Which means the gauge the gauge pressure is negative. The gauge pressure is negative. Uh, the absolute pressure cannot be maybe uh, uh, may not be a uh, negative, but the gauge pressure can be negative. Is it is a vacuum, okay? Basically, the gauge pressure can be positive or negative depending on the reference pressure that we, we use for. So for us in, in, in here, usually we use the reference as the atmospheric pressure. All right. So this is actually to summarize what I have mentioned just now in terms of figure. Absolute pressure is the whole uh, system pressure. Then the gauge pressure is just a difference between the absolute and the uh, atmospheric pressure and the vacuum level is whereby the uh, gauge uh, pressure is negative, okay? Or absolute, absolute pressure, atmospheric pressure is higher than uh, 
larger than the value for the absolute pressure of the system. All right, so now we move to this another concept, which is the if we have a if in in hydrostatic eh, in hydrostatic. If we measure the pressure caused by the, the fluid eh, in a container, uh, it start with the uh, uh, P absolute. Is uh, is actually the measure for P absolute where the if you look at the if you look at the the area here is where the uh, measurement is taken. Where if you take that this one as a P absolute, it's actually a combination of the pressure from the whole area above the 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 level that we want to measure plus the atmospheric pressure so it's actually as absolute absolute pressure here so it's equal to the uh, pressure at each reference each initial okay it doesn't uh, uh, for, for the for this case the initial is at the surface where in on the surface uh, is actually only uh, atmospheric atmospheric pressure only involved here okay so plus the pressure here plus the uh, specific uh, weight uh, time the h uh, the the uh, the uh, the height of the water from the uh, initial or the surface of the water to the uh, level that we want to measure the pressure so this actually this is actually a weight uh, a weight of a water actually okay a weight of the water or in other words it's actually rho g uh, rho, rho g, uh, rho g, uh, this is rho g actually, if you refer to here, definition of a specific gravity times the h. So, pressure plus rho g h is equal to the absolute pressure at the location of h here. Okay, and then uh, if you look at, if I, if I, uh, if I can uh, move this p here into, to the, uh, uh, left hand side of the equations. So P absolute minus P naught equal to rho G rho H or you know that this part is actually equal to P gauge. P gauge or uh, pressure difference between P absolute and P atmospheric pressure. P gauge here is equal to uh, specific, specific, uh, specific gravity times H or uh, if I can simplify here, finally the P gauge equal to rho G H lah, huh? rho G H. All right. So look at the example, a little bit example for you to calculate. They said that we have um, uh, a, a pool, a, a pool. We have a pool, water inside a pool with its with the temperature of uh, 20 degrees C. So find the uh, absolute gas pressure or the equivalent uh, pressure head um, at 10 meter below the free surface of the pool. So if we're talking about free surface, so that in, in that free space you can still you can imagine that we have p uh, p naught a pressure uh, absolute pressure atmospheric pressure, and the h naught is actually equal to um, uh, equal to the zero lah, zero because it's h, h, h initial. Um, uh, at the surface of the water. So that one is stated here. This is all this statement here. Okay, uh, uh, H is 10 meter, H naught is zero, zero, 0 meter because it's free surface on the surface and T is 20. So for the T20, the, specific, the, the density of the water is about 998.207 kilogram per meter, per meter cube. And specific, specific gravity of the mercury is 13.57. We know that specific gravity is equal to density of the object divided by uh, density of water. So, be, which means uh, we know the density of water here. So, we know the specific gravity of the um, mercury. Then we can we can calculate the uh, density of the mercury. All right. So that uh, p, of course, p uh, p uh, the p p naught, which is the p at this free surface, which is the atmospheric pressure. Is equal to 1.0132 times 10 power of so power 5 Pascal. Okay, and then uh, by using the equation here, by using the equation stated here in the, in the, in the previous slide, 
just plug in all the numbers. You can you can calculate the p absolute and this uh, this amount and p gauge is this amount and h absolute is this amount and gauge uh, h gauge is this amount. So p absolute and p gauge is is is, is easy to understand, easy to uh, remember. But how about the h absolute and h gauge? So h absolute is this is actually a uh, oh, sorry, okay. So this h gauge h gauge is equal to the uh, p gauge uh, divided by rho g. So we got h gauge and uh, h absolute actually h absolute is actually uh, p absolute minus p uh, atmospheric atmospheric pressure divided by uh, specific gravity of the uh, water. If you want to find h for mercury. You change this uh, specific gravity uh, into specific gravity of mercury. So that's how uh, if you look at the equation here, the answer here. Okay, this one is uh, H absolute for the uh, H2O. Okay, uh, if you use specific gravity uh, mercury, then you can find that it's actually H absolute is 1.5 meter Hg. Yeah? Look at the difference uh, uh, at the if we have 10 meter with the pressure of 10 meter, uh, 10 meter water plus the atmospheric pressure. So it's about you can raise the water up to 20.36 meter H2O. So we can raise up the water up that high. OK. All right. So including uh, th that one is a uh, 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 pressure due to the water at 10 meter plus the atmospheric pressure. It can raise up the water up to 20.36 meter above the water level. Uh, for the mercury, it's 1.5 meter. OK. Right. So that one is uh, if you look at the example. Huh? So please uh, have a look, try to calculate your own, um, use your calculation, calculate one, try to understand the concept. So a uh, little bit more about the pressure measurement, more points that we have to consider, the, the theory about the pressure measurement. Uh, usually, pressure measurement we divide into two, two, two parts. Eh? First is very, very high pressure measurement. Uh, sorry, very high, very high pressure and very low pressure. So for a very uh, high pressure, a very high, if you're talking about 1,000 atm or 1,000 1, bar, we consider we consider that is very very high. Uh, through my experience, uh, the pressure inside pipelines in the oil and gas, it can be 100 bar, 100 bar. So that one is still not consistent by it's not considered as the uh, high pressure yet, but it's considered by, uh, as high pressure, but not very high. If we're talking about 1000 atm, so that is very, very high. And one millimeter SG is very, very low. It's very, very low. All right. So by looking at the very high and very low, there is a special, uh, sorry, for very high uh, uh, pressure, there, has, there is a specific uh, different type of pressure pressure measurement pressure sensor for low pre, low measurement uh, low low pressure it have different type of pressure measurement pressure uh, transducer okay the, uh, uh, the other thing that uh, we have to understand for the pressure measurement concept is actually is a, is a, uh, the local atmospheric pressure can be different either we inside the building and outside the building also in at different temperature okay it have a uh, a little bit variation uh, in terms of value for the uh, uh, atmospheric pressure so basically if you want to uh, remove the effect of atmospheric pressure just uh, measure the uh, uh, p gauge uh, or pressure gauge pressure okay all right so now we move to the uh, a few concept of pressure measurement so we have um, uh, barometer. Uh, the concept of barometer is actually uh, it measure the uh, 
major the uh, pressure due to the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so if we barometer, it dependent on the atmospheric pressure. If we move, maybe we move to the um, uh, top of the mountain or top of the hill, it's far from the uh, ground, the atmospheric pressure become different. Huh? So uh, if you go to the uh, underwater, so the atmospheric pressure become different. So the barometer is actually to measure the atmospheric pressure. Okay. So it actually consists of uh, a, a, a tank, so it's the open tank, open open container. We have a tube, okay, tube, inverted tube on top of, uh, of the uh, on top of the uh, the the uh, tank, okay, the container. So the if the pressure uh, pressure uh, atmospheric pressure directly push the water, and then as as the as the results the water inside the tube will move up. Uh, I mean move up as the total uh, weight of the water here is equal to the uh, pressure of uh, atmospheric pressure. So for the water for the water. The level here, the edge here is actually, if you put water as a liquid here, so it's about 10 meter, 10 meter. And for the mercury is 760 millimeter height. Eh, this one is uh, a normal atmospheric pressure on the ground at 20 degree. Okay, so this one, uh, we call it reservoir. Okay, reservoir, it, it's always open. This is actually the concept of barometer. Huh? It must have a uh, like uh, open open area that that open to the that uh, the cavity, the opening is directly uh, in contact with the atmospheric pressure. If we use another uh, medium uh, other than the uh, water, for example, if we have this one. Uh, we have uh, this is actually an aneroid barometer. We look at this uh, box here. This one is actually partially eva evacuated box, which in which is uh, it is in vacuum state, uh, which is the 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 pressure inside here is be uh, below than atmospheric pressure. So let's say if the outside of the box is equal to uh, atmospheric pressure it will somehow will push this uh, sorry yeah i'll say yeah it will push the uh, box squeeze the box smaller if we move it um, above then atmospheric pressure what happened is this box will expand expand uh, expand because it is it's, it's, um, uh, more than uh, atmospheric pressure is expand so the expansion of the box will induce the mechanical movement to the uh, spring and then it will show uh, a linear relation uh, and then the, the pointer will show the value of the uh, pressure that one is aneroid barometer the same concept if you use uh, this is actually uh, smaller than smaller than that if we have uh, this one actually a uh, mem mems concept m e m micro letter uh, i don't remember <laughs> just the long the long uh, term for the mems but m e m mems m e m s mems is electronic device uh, very very small uh, built inside the uh, electronic uh, is uh, uh, more most of the uh, electrical equipments uh, basically your watch uh, your phone have uh, this kind of things parameter so the construction of this parameter is actually you have a uh, like empty area here, which is uh, consists of uh, again maybe they use a partially evacuated box. So whenever he have elevated area, so the pressure outside is maybe lower than inside, so it pushing. If if the pressure is outside is higher, so it pushing that 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 this parts uh, downwards. 
and of course this have distortion here the distortion creates if you use uh, resistive uh, type of uh, sensors it will show the change in terms of resistance and of course you just change, change uh, the, the voltage of then we can relate with the pressure so if you use um, uh, other than uh, resistive bridge you can use a piezoelectric sensor so this pushing effect will push the piezoelectric materials and created voltage it it so many uh, methods that we uh, that we can use to measure the deflection the distortion of this area due to the pressure uh, pushing the empty area here so this is the barometer so the pressure pushing is due to the um, atmospheric pressure huh? uh, the difference between outside box and inside the box so it will create some uh, distortion to the this area here so this is actually a piezo resistive type barometric pressure sensor uh, i show you two types of uh, i mean this is very small this one uh, if you look at the this one uh, a little bit larger than that then of course this one uh, maybe this is your old um, concept of the barometer so the further one is just uh, more uh, modern and then you can give smaller 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 uh, type of barometer so for example this one you can edit uh, that that mems uh, uh, piezo resistive type of uh, barometer it actually can be very small and built inside the uh, uh, equipment like watch uh, hand watch Okay, maybe inside your phone or whatever. So that's about the barometer. And then um, another pressure measurement or pressure transducer, we call it, uh, is manometer. Uh, it's actually uh, as the barometer is to measure the atmospheric pressure, the manometer is used to measure the different differential pressure between two. Uh, input pressure. So, manometer have two, uh, three types of uh, um, concept, which is the U tube manometer, uh, micro manometer, and inclined tube manometer. The basic of that uh, manometer is actually U tube man man manometer. The micro manometer and the inclined uh, tube manometer is actually um, uh, actually a uh, 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 extension it improved the youtube uh, manometer all right so for the measurement uh, of the uh, uh, of the uh, manometer can be up to 0 0.01 millimeter of fluid into the several meters of height uh, the difference okay all right so uh, youtube manometer uh, youtube man youtube manometer is actually uh, is a type of manometer uh, to calculate the uh, different pressure difference between uh, one pressure and the other pressure, one of higher pressure and the other one is a low, lower pressure. So if you look at this um, uh, figure here, okay, P1 one pressure and P2 is another pressure. So the uh, the height difference of the liquid, uh, liquid okay due to the different pressure here both of it is actually uh, it uh, shows uh, the pressure difference uh, pressure difference by measuring the age uh, by measuring the age but it's not only that information it's not only age the information age is actually the the parameter that that varies uh, but to calculate the pressure you must also uh, include the specific weight okay Specific weight uh, of the uh, uh, fluid here, a specific weight of the uh, fluid inside here. Okay, inside here. So if you look at the uh, equation here, P1 uh, equal to P2 plus a specific weight times X, and then specific weight of uh, this uh, liquid here, times H minus specific weight uh, times H plus X. Okay. Simplify this equation, you can have this one. The uh, P, P1 minus P2 equal to specific weight of M, specific weight of this area here, this uh, the fluid here, okay, times H, and you can find this 
final equation. So the only thing is we just we need to make sure that this value here, specific weight of both uh, fluid, uh, that uh, can be the uh, indication uh, is actually uh, is actually the k the k value. Uh. If you if you still remember uh, uh, the sensitivity, okay, the k value is actually equal to uh, the sorry. Uh, dy over dx. Remember, k is equal to dy dx. Uh, the sensitivity, sensitivity of the equation uh, of the uh, measurement delta delta y. The the output is, uh, uh, of, uh, divided by delta uh, x. The input. So for this case, the k is uh, specific gravity here lah. Huh? So see this one is the k. Because we know uh, the input is the the output is the uh, the input is uh, uh, this one is input uh, for value this one is output okay or the uh, uh, input mean the dependent uh, the dependent the, uh, the independent in, independent so this one is x this one is y lah uh, y is output. So, if in that case, so the k will be uh, one over specific gravity of m. Sorry, what happened? Uh, sorry, it's actually uh, so specific gravity of m minus specific gravity of this one. So it's actually uh, this one. Uh, huh? Alright. So this one K. Okay, uh. Just try to relate between uh, the one that we have learned in the early part of the, of the uh, subject. Alright. So. And then we have a uh, micro manometer. Uh, actually a micro uh, manometer is actually um, used to measure a very small differential pressure. Uh, so that P1 and P2 we have a different. So the, when 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 we are targeting a very small change of the differential uh, pressure, so we need to we need to adjust, uh, manipulate the construction of the uh, YouTube manometer so that we we make it a bit larger here, the the area here make it uh, larger, so make sure that we can have a very fine measurement of the level difference. Huh? So that it indicates uh, it indicates the uh, the the change of delta p here p1 minus p2. So this change of the height can be measured by using micrometer micrometer. So it can be it can be up to 0.05 millimeter H, H2O. Uh, remember, atmospheric pressure is about equal to 10 meter of H2O. But this one it can measure up to 0.05. 0 0.005 millimeter H2O millimeter millimeter so it can have very very small changes of the uh, level all right so next uh, we have the inclined tube manometer where the inclined inclined tube manometer is actually to use uh, used to measure small change in pressure it will give a very huge measurement to the uh, output so uh, the other word is actually it, this inclined tube manometer is try to increase the sensitivity of the measurement small increase in one part of maybe the pressure difference delta p small increase in delta p it will show a large de decrease in term of uh, sorry large increase in term of the output right? output all right so we look at the um, the construction of the uh, manometer so we have of course we have two limbs the other limb is special is the other limb the other limb is have angle, angle, inclined angle. So uh, by by using the concept of uh, the area, the area here, the, the volume here, okay, the change of volume here, 
Okay, the change of volume here is equal to the change of volume inside here. So this one here. Okay, by using this concept, and then we transform, we transfer the value of H2, which is H2 we know is this uh, H2 here is equal to the L times the sine of angle here. So include the equation and then uh, you can find H1 is equal to A2L sine theta over A1. And then we know that H2 is equal to H sine theta. So we put the value of H2 here, okay, H and H1 here into the original equation whereby the equation is come from the first uh, hydrostatic concept of water. Okay, hydrostatic concept of water. Just replace all this value here inside here with all this uh, calculate this uh, equation here, and then we can find the delta p. Okay, delta p is equal to the h uh, one minus h two, and then uh, we bring out the the uh, the specific weight. Eh? This is the specific weight. Okay, so that you can have this equation again. Uh, if you look at here the delta p, the output. Uh, the sorry, the input uh, delta p, and l is the uh, output of the signal. So from here, please find the k for me, the k, the the sensitivity uh, of this equipment here. Uh, please find for me <laughs> as a just just a homework. I have, I have, I have explained to you. Uh, the how to find the K for the uh, YouTube manometer. Now with the inclined tube manometer, please find the K for me. All right, so we have example here. So for YouTube, let's say we have specific gravity. Uh, remember, it's different between specific gravity and specific weight. Eh? Specific gravity is equal to the density of the object divided by uh, density of the water. So if given 0.82 meaning that the oil here have actually 0.82 percent from the uh, from the density of the water. Okay, density of the water. So this means 0.82 times the density of the water. And then okay, that one is the uh, the uh, about the specific gravity here of the fluid here and then it said that one side of the metal is open remember it's open meaning that there is involvement of atmospheric pressure here so basically it's actually a, a absolute pressure uh, and then uh, the pressure is a uh, uh, 9.922 times 10 plus power of 4 okay in in one side of the uh, uh, Pressure, uh, sorry, one side of the uh, uh, open. It's open. So one is open with to the air, and one side is the there is actually pressure comes in. Pressure comes in. Okay. Uh, so the uh, so the difference is 20 cm when exposed to the air. So for this case, a P2 is here uh, this one is open to the uh, uh, sorry this one is open to the air and atmospheric pressure it doesn't mention here but i think uh, this is referred to the uh, actually for this one p2 is actually open to air atmospheric pressure so p p1 is actually the, the pressure comes in pressure comes in it's larger than uh, this one here so then we put all the value so net sorry uh, before we put our value we, we need to see here the air is at 25 degree. So at 25 degree, the density of the air is uh, uh, 1.16 kilogram. So this is actually density of the air. Okay. So density of the air. Uh, and then the density of the water is uh, 10, 10, uh, 1,000 kilogram. So why given 10,000 uh, water? Because of you want to calculate for the uh, density of the uh, oil here. We know the specific gravity here, so that we can we can we can calculate this specific. Uh, sorry, we can calculate the density of the 
oil by using a specific gravity here. So uh, 0 0.82 times uh, 1000, okay, is equal to the uh, density of the oil. Huh? So density of the oil here minus density of the air at 25 degree times GH. You know the the, the actually the 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 difference between both uh, density times G is equal to the specific specific weight. Yeah? Specific weight. Uh, please refer to the uh, previous uh, slide. You can understand that one. So put in, plug in all the value here. Okay. And then you can find the uh, absolute pressure for P1. Eh? Why absolute? Because of at P2 is there is involvement of the uh, atmospheric pressure. All right. So if you want to find the gauge pressure, just minus the uh, uh atmospheric pressure all right but for this case atmospheric pressure is about mm, one 100 101 101 so this one p1 is actually uh lower than uh, atmospheric pressure actually all right so so quiz so please do this, this quiz uh, i want you to submit uh this quiz today today uh, by five o'clock I will open the uh, I will uh, I will check uh, please email to me this one uh, I want you to email to me the the uh, this quiz just uh, snap the picture and email to me by uh, 5 p.m. put the name of the uh, your submission as quiz one pressure measurement okay quiz one pressure measurement and submit to me by 5 p.m. today. OK. All right. Now. So example, example two, I leave it to you to calculate. I think uh, this one. Uh, 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 I leave, leave it to you as an exercise to understand about the uh, you uh, sorry, uh, micro manometer, the concept. Of. So uh, with that, uh, I finish this session. So uh, next session, I will continue with the uh, the part two for the pressure measurement, and we can uh, we will I will uh, include um, and also include also the lecture for the accelerometer uh, acceleration measurement. So with that, thank you very much. I see you for the next session. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, and have a nice day.